<clears throat> What's up, Tarantula YouTube? It's Tennessee Tarantula is back with you here. Um, my a funnel pelmas imani sling is uh, recently molted, and the molt is uh, stuck to the tarantula, so. We're going to have to uh, dig the little guy or girl out and uh, and remove what, what part of the molt we can from it. You have to excuse the way I sound. <clears throat> I, uh, I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. So, uh... Well, first of all, before we dig our tarantula out, this is my technique of cutting the uh, mold off of a tarantula. I've, I've had to do it several times in the past. Um, the worst one I've ever had to do. <laughs> Excuse me. Is uh, my puzzle theory of Vitata. Um, and it was, it was stuck pretty bad. Um, first you're going to need, uh, a good pair of, uh, scissors. These are surgical scissors that they use in the emergency room or hospital or doctor's office. That's what they, uh, use to cut stitches and, um, whatever, pieces of flesh, uh, whatever they, they need them for. Um, little pair of tweezers to grab the mold, hold on to it, um, while you cut the excess away. Jarred everything around here. Sorry about that. A couple pair of hemostats, um, just in case. Uh, I don't know. I need them. I got one with a uh, curved in and one with a straight in. I may not need them. Um, I may just use these two and a couple of Q-tips. Um, and a little tub of water. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in there so that it can be soaking up water. And we'll use that to soften up what part of the mold is stuck to the tarantula. Um, so, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's start digging this little booger out here. I've got my little catch cup here. of card or cardboard uh, to slide underneath it because it would be hard to do that slide it underneath the lid without leaving any cracks for it to get through and a tub here to dump out all the dirt so let me see how I can work around the camera here and still give you guys a a pretty good decent angle hmm. I've noticed looking looking in there that it's only stuck to the rear of the tarantula so hopefully it's not too bad I will say all the tarantulas that I have had to surgically remove the moat from has 
um, have been lucky and and they've they've all succeeded and and went on to molt um, normally as they should. So that's what I'm hoping for this one. Could be quite a bit of digging, so I don't know. I may uh, I may uh, end up pausing the video or skipping um, until we get down to the tarantula because I want to be easy as I can and not smash or injure the tarantula because it's still it's still pretty soft from molting. got the trench lap out of <clears throat> out of the bow I was able to do it uh, without removing too much dirt which is good because I know it worked I wanted to um, making it to the burrow and it's still not hardened up enough to be able to climb hard surfaces, so I don't really care about the moment, so I'm going to just start slipping away on it. And I apologize. Um, here, let me see. Looks like. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> it looks like the uh, the carapace itself is stuck, and the mold to the top of its abdomen. Oops. shaking too bad to do this really but Sorry, is that a frame the whole time, wasn't it? I got most of it. It's being a pretty pretty good little little sling it's not not really moving around a lot
that's the carapace and some other bits of motor. for safe measures we did it's say which is kind of obvious but the smaller the <clears throat> the spider the harder it is to manipulate and to cut the moat off um, but yeah let's uh, let's get this little guy or girl back in uh, back in its container and uh, yeah that's pretty much it do a little close up maybe of it You can tell that it's it's still fresh because the little eggs are almost transparent. Looks like we got all of it though. It looks like it lost a leg on this right side <clears throat> looks like the vet the very the rear leg on the right side right there Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Alright guys. That's it. That's how you uh, surgically remove a stuck malt on your sling or tarantula or, or larger tarantula. You do the same way. The bigger they are, the more you have to work with. And the easier it is, in my opinion. I mean, it's not an easy task at all. 
um, it's kind of tedious, um, that's probably the easiest one that I've done, honestly, um, but, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, if you like this video, uh, give me a, a thumbs up, and leave a comment, um, everybody good luck in the Fatal Fangs Challenge, um, couple of shout outs uh, spider woman uh, if you're not subbed to her go check her channel out uh, tarantula time uh, tarantula noob um, Edward Tyndall um, DEA exotics um, I know I'm forgetting some small, small town exotics, um, uh, torpedoes and tarantulas, uh, house of invertebrates, um, yeah, anyway, later guys, I'm out.